everyone my name is disha mehta a legal intern at lexis and company and a law student at gujarat university and today we are going to talk about the term garnishy order so let us start so the word garnish has been derived from an old french word garner which generally aims to warn or to prepare the word garnishy means a person who is debtor to the judgment debtor or against whom a decree has been passed he is a person on record in the court of law who is responsible or liable to pay the debts to the judgment debtor and liable to deliver the possession of any movable property he is generally required to pay the debt and whose property has been subjected to garnishment the this garnish order by the competent court of law is passed at the time of execution of a decree in this order the court of competent jurisdiction makes the third party liable to pay the amount who possesses money in hands or any movable property which is attached by the court it involves the provision in which the court wants or garnishment the third party not to pay the debt amount directly to the judgment debtor or whom against decree has been passed but to pay the money and appear before the plaintiff creditors suit in the court so basically garnisher is a decree holder or a creditor who initiates and introduces the garnishment action for his own benefit to reach out the judgment debtor's property which is in possession or held in the or held by the third party or the garnishee here the court in the case of debt which is attached under civil procedure code 1908 rule 46 of order 21 other than the debt security by charge or mortgage under the application issued by the decree holder compels the garnishee to pay the debt either either through the court directly or satisfy the debt amount and cost of execution of the decree and if he is unable to do so then he needs to show cause in the court of law that why he should not do so suppose a owes b rupees 2000 but a refuses to repay the amount to b and b sues a he obtains a decree in his favor here b is a judgment creditor and a is judgment debtor b comes to know that a has some money in a bank account and would like to have his decree satisfied by attaching it in the hands of a's bank for this purpose he approaches a court and obtains a garnish order attaching the fund at the bank sending to the credit of a so we can say that a garnish order is issued by the court of law to the third party in a suit compelling him to pay a certain amount directly to the creditor instead of paying it to the debtor a garnish order is always beneficial to the creditor as it protects him from the loss due to unavailability of funds with the judgment debtor it acts as an alternative mechanism of receiving the unpaid amount from the debtor if he fails to provide the same within the stipulated time as mentioned in the contract between the parties a garnish order can be made by the court to the financial institutions or banks to pay the debt amount directly to the creditor instead of paying it to the principal debtor so this is the concept of garnish order hope you like it and if you have any doubts then please feel free to write down in the comment section below and we would be happy to solve your doubts and even if you have any other doubts in any of the previous topics which we have discussed then please feel free to write the same thank you